Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is ocular emergency from eye disorders. Let's get started. Ocular emergencies are the condition that can cause sudden loss or decrease in concentration that could lead to a permanent condition, either permanent damaging condition or permanent irreversible condition. There are many traumatic as well as non-traumatic conditions that can cause ocular emergency. We will learn about them one by one. First of all, assessment and diagnosis. I have included this assessment and diagnosis at this part because whenever there is an emergency, the first priority is finding out the cause of that emergency. Is it due to accident, trauma, due to some etiological cause or any other reason? So, assessment and diagnosis of ocular emergencies should be after introduction and then we will learn about other things later on. For assessment, ocular history should be taken because it makes us clear about type of injury and cause of injury. Past ocular surgery and cause of that surgery should also be asked. If surgery is done, cause should be found. Chemical agent for burn and its pH level should be detected. Also, inspection of eye for corneal abrasion can be done. In examination of pupil for size, shape, and reaction to light can be done so that it can be compared to another unaffected LDI. Ocular mobility can be tested. Movement of eye muscles helps to determine whether there is some problem in ocular muscles or not. To classify ocular emergency, we have various conditions. First is emergency condition, urgent condition, and semi urgent condition. On the basis of emergency, it is divided. Emergency condition must be treated within minutes. It includes chemical burn of conjunctiva and cornea. Urgent condition must be treated within hours. Penetrating injuries, corneal foreign body, eyelid laceration is included. In semi urgent condition, must be managed within one to two days. It includes orbital fracture, soft conjunctival hemorrhage. There are top 10 ocular emergencies divided on the basis of severity or priority. First is systemic optic neuropathy, which is damage of eye muscles along with damage of nerves. Central retinal artery occlusion, which is manifested by retinal widening. Map on retinal, retinal detachment, where retina gets detached with blood vessels. Acute third nerve palsy, also called as stosis, and which is manifested by dropping of eyelid, unable to adopt the eye. Corneal microbial keratitis, in which conjunctival infection with white infiltrate are seen. Open globe, in which there is leak pupil, acute angle closure glaucoma, where corneal age with microcystic edema occurs. Indophthalmitis, where there is conjunctival infection, mild corneal edema, and anterior chamber icopyrone. Alkali injury can also be one of the types where conjunctival infection occurs along with diffuse corneal pain. Orbital cellulitis can also be a type in which there is orbital inflammation, pain, on eye movement. Symptoms of ocular emergencies can be, first of all, black spot on vision, curtain-like disappearance of vision, eye injury or pain, halos or rainbow around the light, black spot might be due to trauma to the retina, curtain-like disappearance of the when there is disturbance on the neurogenic part or neurological nerve transmission part. Eye injury or pain is a result of trauma. Halos or rainbow around the light occurs when there is disturbance in intraocular pressure. 
loss of peripheral vision, vision and a sudden vision loss in one eye where there is totally stop of nerve transmission our eye cannot perceive any kind of thing on the surrounding so sudden vision loss in one eye other symptoms include red rusty or swollen eyelids bruising around the eye redness bruising blood in the sclera discharge from the eye any kind of discharge blood with blood or without blood and severe itching of the eye also pupils do not look like of same size because the dilation and contraction of pupil becomes different after any kind of trauma or infection also one eye is not moving like the other problem in orbital muscles there is also sticking or bulging of one eye after sticking or bulging of one eye also another eye is not able to perform properly perform its functions properly there can be preventive management of emergency condition that is use of personal protective equipment during occupational exposure or during exposure to environmental pollutants or protecting eye from ultraviolet rays also while handling chemicals follow the guidelines properly use protective equipment properly keep scissors knife and other sharp instruments away from the reach of young children keeping scissors knife and other instruments away from the reach of young children will prevent injury to eyes that they might cause to themselves do not let the children play with projectile toys as the projectile toys can injure any part of the body especially eyes dart pellet or bronze should not be given to the children who are unable to play with it keep heated air appliances like straightener curler or cloth iron away from the eye keep distance from firework to protect your eye if there is foreign body man in eye it can be managed by the following ways first of all careful history taking to find out the cause mri so that we can have a total view for metallic foreign body to find out the location of metallic foreign body superficial foreign body should be removed it can be removed easily at the superficial foreign body examine daily for evidence of infection evidence of infection can be fever tachycardia change in hemodynamics surgical intervention can be done to remove the foreign body if needed if there is need of surgical intervention for normal vision it should be done for managing penetrating injury of eye first of all how to manage eye edema to manage eye edema patient should be hospitalized with moderate activity activity should be limited now because each activity of daily living needs focus needs vision next eye shield should be used to protect the eye from exposure to harmful chemicals and dust also corticosteroid can be applied at night topically ruptured globe management is next ruptured globe management can be done through vitrectomy and primary enucleation intraocular foreign body management can be done through first of all diagnosing the site with lip lens examination and ophthalmoscopy if cornea is perforated tetanus toxoid can be administered also surgical extraction of foreign body can be done damaged area of retina is treated to prevent retinal detachment thank you so much next topic will be continuing next video